Just a couple of addendums to my Apple Maps tutorials. When you're done with all of this and you've done your exports, you're going to want to stop Nginx from running. You can obviously reboot your computer. Um, Nginx will not load on the next reboot, um, but that's also why I have this stop.bat file. Double click that and that will stop Nginx. You can open up Task Manager and verify that Nginx is not running anymore. Uh, the second addendum is that the access key that we copied out of DuckDuckGo is good for about 15 minutes or so in my experience. So if it takes longer than 15 minutes to do your two exports, uh, then it could fail in the middle of them. And then of course if you come back to your project later and need to do another export, you will need another access key. Um, so the restart.bat uh, anytime you update the nginx config file you need to restart nginx so that it reloads that config file so anytime you update the uh, that access key you'll need to make sure that you run that restart.bat file so things start working again um, just a reminder that access key is in the nginx config file here's the current one that was used in the tutorial uh, it's only been a few minutes, so that's probably still working, but I would have to replace that if it's been another hour or so, um, and then come over and uh, restart Nginx. It's definitely safer to restart just in case um, there is an Nginx that's already been running, because Nginx will allow you to run as many instances of it as you want at once, um, but uh, weird things will happen. Restart makes sure to kill any instances before launching a fresh one with the current config.